The six days of patriotic fun kicked off tonight with the 74th annual Bemidji JC's Water Carnival. Our Josh Peterson shows us how this annual event engages a community. It offers everything you would expect from a carnival and so much more. From the thrills and spills, many locals and tourists turn out each year for the Bemidji JC's Water Carnival, where the main objective is to help the community. Because of everyone going on the rides and participating in the event that we've got going on, all the rides and games and activities over at the Sanford Center, uh, we're kind of excited about everything that we gain from our water carnival experience, we actually are able to give back to the community. For many of those at the Midway, the carnival is a summer tradition, something that kids both young and old look forward to each year. Uh, we just come to uh, see people, see friends, eat the food, eat <laughs> kids, ride the rides. I just love that That's it brings the community up. together, the parade, um, just that all the like events really, speakers. just as a fun, fun week. For kids, the big draw is the carnival rides that can leave you feeling a little woozy. They make you sick and everything, and like, they spin around really fast. Offering something for kids of all ages, the water carnival is more than just rides and games. It's also about engaging the community. It's great to have the Bemidji community behind the JCs from everywhere from our sponsors to our volunteers to just people participating and watching our event going on. It's great to have that support in our community. With both kids and adults alike reeling with excitement, it's best to pace yourself with two locations to check out. The water carnival festivities run through the 4th of July. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. For our complete schedule of events and a lineup of entertainment, we posted a link on our website at lptv.org news. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.